My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 112 of the 120 Days Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at general formula of probability. General formulas used in probability. Remember, we've been able to establish that probability refers to possibility, the chance of something happening, the likelihood of events taking place. If that is true, what is the general formula for probability? What is the general shape questions take when it comes to probability? This you will learn in this episode. And don't fail to get the Flash Learner's Jam application after the class so you begin to play with further questions and reach out to me if you have complaints. Visit flashlearners.com to get the various versions of the Flash Learner's Jam application. It has helped others and it is going to help you pass. Let us begin. Now let's see the general formula for probability. The general formula is simple. Probability is equals number of favorable results over total number of possible results. Number of favorable results over total number of possible results. You can interpret this general formula to your favor all the way you will understand. This is the meaning. The probability of something happen, happening is the number of what you want to happen or what you want to happen over the total number of what can happen. If throwing a dice will give you one, two, three, four, five, six. If you throw a die, if you've played Ludo before, all those small, small seeds that die, once you drop only one, bah! The outcome or the sample space are one, two, three, four, five, six. And for one throw, one can only appear one, two can only appear one, three can only appear one, four can only appear one, five can only appear once, and six can only appear one once. So, if I say a die was thrown once, what is the probability of getting a 3? Which means, what is the probability that 3 will show up like this? For you to say, ah, I got 3. It is simply the number of favorable results. Favorable results refer to the result you are expecting or the result that you want. And that is 3. So the number of favorable results is only 3. So which is 3 or just 1 out of the total result over the total number of possible results is 6. So 1 over 6. This is your answer. Because the probability of 3 facing up is just 1 out of the total of 6 possible results. If I say in the class of okay in the class there are five boys and 15 girls what is the probability that a student picked at random is a boy you go back to the general formula probability is number of favorable results over total number of possible results. Now, if we have 5 boys and 15 girls, the total number of possible results is equals 5 plus 15. That is 20. True or true? True. Now, 
since we have five boys and 15 girls, if a student is picked at random, the chance that this student is a boy is five out of 20. Five number of students, 20 total number of students. So this is five over 20. And that is when you break it down, you should get one over four. If five, if 20 over five is four. Now, a student sits for an exam. What is the probability that the student is going to pass? Now, for an exam, you have just two outcomes. Pass or fail. Since you have two outcomes, the probability of passing is one out of the two total outcomes. Simple and straight. Why solving a probability question? The range of answers is between 0 and 1. You should not get 2 as an answer in probability. You should not get 5 or 10. And you should not get a negative number, minus 7, minus 6, minus 4. The range is 0 to 1, which means you can get 0, 0 0.5, up to 1. And it is usually in fraction, 1 over something. That is, when it is not 0 or when it is not 1. If you are so sure that an event is not going to happen, if there is no possibility of an event happening, or the possibility of an event not happening at all, that you are so sure that this event is not going to happen, then the probability is 0. For sure events, the probability is 1. The probability that there will be 6 a.m. tomorrow is 1 because it is sure that this is going to happen. It is constant, right? So, the probability of impossible events is 0. Probability of sure event is 1. Then, for events that is not impossible or that is not sure, probability is 1 over something, 1 over something, 1 over something, which is from 0 point something to lesser than 1. That is the range of values for probability or for possibility. Ladies and gentlemen, with this, we come to the end of this episode. And I do hope you found it interesting and you found it helpful. Feel free to get the Flash Learner's Jam application and begin to answer further questions. It is going to really strengthen your knowledge when it comes to probability. So many persons who used the app and the videos in the past, they shared their testimony. In fact, many, many, many candidates scored above 300 using the Flash Learners video and the Flash Learners application. It is your turn to pass and it is your turn to score very high. Let me know if you have further questions using the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first person to get updates whenever a video drops. See you in the next episode.